and I represent Coburn's, the grocery business my family started back in 1921. Today, we are an employee-owned company with 10,000 dedicated owners, and we have grown to include more than 135 retail locations across Minnesota and five other states. While a lot has changed in the past century, there are some, his there are some disturbing historic parallels. Then and now, big companies are getting bigger by systematically crushing smaller competitors. We're not a small company, but we still feel the pressure. Unfair pressure that shows that the playing field isn't as level as it should be. One of the items on your agenda today is, supply, is the supply chain study. And I'm confident that your findings will match our reality. During the lockdown, the biggest chains cut to the front of the supply lines and helped themselves, leaving smaller competitors to fight for whatever scraps were left. From toilet paper and cleaning products to pet food, America's independent grocers had to fend for themselves. When it comes to grocery stores, size is not everything. Many of our customers don't live within easy walking or driving distance of big box stores, and that includes shoppers in cities and rural. Many, many just want to shop our stores because that's where they want to shop. Big stores shouldn't get preferential treatment, but the reality is that's what has happened since the pandemic. After decades of consolidation, four big chains control 69% of America's grocery sales, and they consistently use that power to demand special treatment, lower prices, and exclusive product sizes that drive their profits ever upward. A hundred years ago, my family's business was facing a threat from chain stores that wanted to put them out of business. Fortunately, Congress passed laws to make sure that big companies couldn't use their power to demand special treatment. We believe it's time for Washington to take a hard look at the grocery sector and ask that, and ask whether the playing field is fair because I assure that it is not. I'm asking you at the FTC and other officials in Washington to please make sure the laws are enforced and modernized so that the company that bears my family name can thrive in the future. Thank you. Thank you 